In this video, I'm going to share with you how to get live stock prices in Excel using Y Sheets and Excel stocks, as well as being able to get this data for American and international companies and then refresh it. And if you stay at the end, I'm going to share with you a template where if you change the company ticker, all the data will automatically update for you. Okay, so we're going to start with how to get live stock prices in Excel using Excel stocks. So the way that works is very simple. Um, the requirement is though that you need to have an Office 365 account to access this functionality on your Excel spreadsheet. If you go to the data tab, you will see here the ability to get stock information as well as currencies. The one that's most relevant, of course, is stocks. And the way in which you can get the live stock data is very simple. All you have to do is write any tickers that you'd like to get data from. And then in this case, I've already created some headings of the data that I'm looking to get for all these companies. After you have a list like this, it's very simple. All you have to do is click on convert to stocks and you will see how we will select this array. And what this is gonna do is turn the tickers into the actual stock format for Excel. And then from there, you're going to need to highlight the different tickers. And then this pop up is going to show up that says insert data. And then here you will see all the data that's available through Excel stock. Some of it is not real time data, but some of it is. So in this case, we're looking to get the price first. So first we have to find it, click price. And as you can see, the price column will be populated. Then we're going to get the PE ratio, which should be live based on the stock price and the last earnings of these companies. And lastly, we're going to get the volume. So I just selected and there you go. As you can see, it is that simple to be able to get live stock data on your Excel spreadsheet using Excel stocks. The good thing is that you can easily change the company ticker to something else and then the data should also automatically update for you. To get live stock data on Excel for international stocks, it is very simple. You can visit this website, which is going to be linked in the description of this video. And as you can see here, it includes all the different countries and exchanges that are covered for Excel stocks. The thing that matters the most, though, is the market identifier code. So, for example, for a company that's listed in Canada in the Toronto Stock Exchange, the market identifier code will be XTSE. So all you have to do is change the ticker of the company to include the market identifier code and then the ticker of that company. So for example, if we wanted to do a company TELUS, the ticker is T and it's listed in that uh, Canadian stock exchange. All you have to do is XTSE colon T. And as you can see, it will automatically turn into the stock data format and then here it will return the data that you're looking for. Now, one question you may have is how do you refresh the live stock price data? And that's very simple. All you have to do is click on the refresh here, refresh all. And what's gonna happen is that all the data will automatically update for you and you will have the latest numbers available. If you don't have access to Excel stocks, an easy alternative that you can use is called Y Sheets. And this is an add-in that installs right on your Excel and Google Sheets spreadsheet. And it works both on Mac as well as Windows. And the way it works is very simple. All you have to do is use this Y price function that comes already built in. And then here it's gonna ask you for the symbols where you can select them like this. And then the parameters, which there's a lot of parameters that are supported for live stock data. Here's some of them. And as you can see, you will get the data in one go as well. You can then do any formatting you like. And the cool thing is that we also have a refresh button. So you can click here and get the data updated really fast. If you are looking for international stocks, we follow the same ticker system as Yahoo Finance. So you can look for a specific ticker on Yahoo Finance and then enter it here and you will be able to get the data. So for example, if you are looking for TELUS in Yahoo Finance, what you will find is that the ticker is still T. The extension is that TO. 
and as you can see you will be able to get the data and everything will work just as fine now because you made it to the end of the video i have a surprise for you so if you go on white sheets you will see this menu called wise templates and then in here we have some templates that already have live stock data integrated so if you click on this and you can access this for absolute free even on the free trial version you will be able to access a template exactly like this that uses the wise price function to get this information and then in this case it provides you with the real time value of your portfolio as well as the allocation across the different stocks or ETFs that you might be investing in. This makes it a lot easier because everything is automatically set up for you. All you have to do is change the company ticker or multiple tickers at once, and then everything will be automatically calculated for you. So for example, if I were to change this to Walmart, you will see how the data will automatically update. And still, you will be able to refresh the data anytime you like. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. It would help us a lot. And let me know what other content you would like to see next. I'll see you in the next one.